Today I'll be addressing how to configure your SpeedCheck 12 Radar Speed Sign once the product has been installed. The SpeedCheck 12 Radar Speed Sign is functional out of the box and will be programmed to default settings. Based on your application, you may need to change these values, which is performed using the SpeedCheck Manager mobile app. This app is available free of charge on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Prior to connecting to the sign, make sure you have the latest version available installed from your applicable App Store on your mobile device. After installing and powering up the SpeedCheck 12 Radar Speed Sign, open SpeedCheck Manager mobile app on your mobile device. You will be asked to grant Bluetooth permissions with the app which requires tapping the OK button. Afterwards, you will be greeted with the scan screen which will show all SpeedCheck 12 signs detected within your immediate vicinity if applicable. For subsequent scanning, you can swipe down on the display or tap the scan button at the bottom of the screen. Each system will have an orange bar indicating signal strength, with the nearest sign containing the highest signal strength being at the top of the list. Tap on the system name you wish to connect to. Read the mobile app usage pop-up content and click continue to log into the sign. This will bring up the login screen. Here you will enter the default password for the system, which is SpeedCheck. The app will advise you to change this password into one of your own choosing. Tap on Change Password and choose your new password. You may not use the phrase Speed Check within the new password. Your password will now be remembered for this system. This feature is enabled by default. More on that later in this video. You will now be on the Settings screen. This will contain read-only information at the top of the screen and editable settings at the bottom. Change items such as the speed check name, date, time, and speed settings. Tap on the ellipsis icon in the upper right to bring up additional options. Run test sequence. This will start testing the display LEDs and strobe. Running this function will confirm which system you are currently connected to and verify all LED segments are operational. Advanced settings. This will contain additional functions similar to the settings screen. The list of functions will change over time with future updates. Change password. This will allow you to change the password for the current system you are connected to. If the remember password toggle is enabled, the app will remember this new password for you when you connect to it next, so you will not be required to enter it. Tap the cancel button to go back to the settings screen. For diagnostics, you will focus on the top part of the screen where the read-only statuses are shown. System voltage. This will be your current battery voltage or for AC systems, the power supply voltage. Power status. This will tell you the input power status based on the system voltage reading. Operating mode. This will tell you the current operating mode selected. Firmware. This will tell you the current controller firmware installed. System status. This will tell you if there are any system faults or if the system is in a low voltage state. Once you are finished with the system, you can tap on the exit button. You will be now back on the scan screen. Tap on the menu icon in the upper left corner of the screen and you will have additional functions. Scan. This brings you back to the scan screen. Passwords. This brings you to the password screen for password management. Speed check 12 and SpeedCheck Manager manuals. These will bring you to the Carmana website to view each manual respectively. FAQs and live support. This will bring you to the Carmana Product Support Center for additional resources and live support. At the bottom of the page, we'll show you the current app version installed. Passwords. Tap on the Passwords button to bring up the Password Manager. This will show you every system you have connected to and its stored password. This will only populate if you have the Remember Passwords toggle enabled. All passwords are stored locally on your device. Tap on the eye icon to expose the currently saved password for each system. Tap on the paper icon to the right to copy the password into your mobile device's clipboard. Tap on the trash icon above to remove the saved password for that system. Doing so will force you to manually enter the password for that system on next connection. It is recommended to leave the Remember Passwords toggle enabled at all times for your convenience. Tap on the Done button when completed. For more videos and information, please visit us at support.carmana.com.
www.thepodcastnetwork.com.